Lastly, we want some way to fight back against them. So we've got these projectiles that we're firing. And the projectiles currently just destroy any obstacle they touch. Um, but what we might do is go and disable that code on our projectile there, our fireball. Edit that script. And down here, we're checking if toucher has tag obstacle. We're destroying the toucher. If I right click on that if block and disable it, that code won't run anymore. I don't want my bullets to instantly destroy obstacles. Um, I want my enemy to have some health. So I'm going to edit the script on my enemy there. And my enemy is going to detect when it's hit by a bullet. So we need from physics, when I am touched, get toucher. And then we need an if block to ask if the toucher was the bullet. We'll ask what tag it had. If we go to sensing and grab myself has tag. And we don't want to know about myself. We want to know about the toucher. So we'll go to variables and grab instance toucher. If the toucher has the tag bullet, that was the tag we put on the projectile. Now, if the enemy is touched by the bullet, what do we want to do? Well, we don't want it to instantly get destroyed. We want it to lose some health, and then if it doesn't have enough health left, it will get destroyed. So we need to set up some health. If we go to variables, we can create a variable for health. We'll call this health and make it a number type. Then we'll grab set number health to, put it inside the if block, and we want to decrease the health. So we're going to go to operators, grab this plus block, make that minus and what should the health be well let's go back to variables grab number health so the health will become whatever it was minus 25 so if we start out with 100 health that should take four shots to kill this enemy um, are we starting out with 100 health no we're not so let's say when the level starts we we'll set health to 100 so we'll go to variables we'll set number health to 100. Now, losing health is not going to be enough. We now need to check is the health at zero or is it even less than zero? So we'll grab an if block from control flow. So you've lost a little bit of health. We need to know if you've got zero health. So we'll go to operators, grab an equals block, and make this less than or equal to. And we want to know if health is less than or equal to zero. If health is less than or equal to zero. You could just make this equal to zero, but if you did enough damage at once that it went from, let's say, 10 health down to negative 10 health or something like that, it would never be sitting at zero. So you'll need to make sure that's less than or equal to. Uh, if you do have less than or equal to zero health, we need to destroy you. So control flow, destroy myself. Okay, let's test that out. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Perfect. Now I can have as many of these bad guys as I want. 